I really like these things. I've recently been eating these. They're like my uh, healthy snack. They're probably not very healthy. Harvest Snaps. Snap Pea Crisps. This is not a sponsored video, but I wish it was. I would sponsor Harvest Harvest Snaps. Snap Pea Crisps. So I'm going to talk about the zombie horror film, Battleground, from uh, 1981. This is an Italian zombie horror film. <laughs> Professor Ares is working at an archaeology site and makes a discovery that excites him. Soon after, for no apparent reason, the professor is attacked by newly awakened zombies. Did the professor awaken the zombies? It doesn't look like he did anything to cause them to awaken, but they just attacked him for no reason. It's pretty rude. Apparently before his death, the professor invited three couples to the mansion near the archeology span site to, um, to share his discovery. When the couples arrived, the professor is nowhere to be found. And how did the couples respond to this? They succumbed to their sexual desires and urges. All unbeknownst to them, the zombies are approaching, slowly, very slowly. Turn back this way. Huh. You're turning into a great little model. Then I deserve a raise. So, what does a burial ground have going for it? Not a whole lot. It's got a little bit. Um, it's got enough to make it worthwhile to a select few individuals. Not a lot, but a few. Uh, first off, the music. I like it uh, quite a bit. I like the music. Some of it isn't the best, or what you would expect from a zombie film, though. Some of it seems a little, little off. Does that set the tone for a zombie apocalypse? Smooth jazz? No. The answer is no, no it doesn't. But overall the soundtrack's good and I'd actually like to get my hands on that. Not the ideal situation for the lighting to continually change while you're filming. It's no good. The locations looked really good in Barrel Ground. Um, like I really like that old uh, amphitheater that uh, the professor is walking through earlier. So the movie was filmed um, on actual locations in and around Rome and in real places. So there's no sound stages. That really helps enhance the atmosphere. <laughs> that really helps enhance the atmosphere of the movie and uh, give it a, uh, a real sense of realism, which the movie needs pretty bad. For me, the uh, exterior scenes look the best and those are the ones that are filmed outside the mansion, which consists of mostly the uh, first act. For example, the scene with the zombies coming out of the ground which I hope is an homage to Lucio Fulci's Zombie 2. Um, I, I like that scene quite a bit. Uh, the second and third acts are mostly filmed inside the mansion and I just don't feel like the uh, mansion's interior was was used to its full advantage. I feel like the mansion could be a, a character itself, but it just wasn't utilized properly. So the, the zombies in Italian films tend to look more like rotting corpses other than how they're de been depicted mostly in American zombie movies. In Dawn of the Dead, for example, the zombies are pretty much just people with a blue face paint on. And it's not very good. It's not the best zombie I've seen. But in Zombie 2, Dawn of the Dead's unofficial uh, sequel by Lucio Fulci, 
The zombies look great. They look like rotting corpses. In um, Burial Ground, the zombies look more like the rotting corpses, um, which is an Italian, so it makes sense. But the uh, quality control isn't quite the best on the zombies. Some of the zombies look great with like maggots and worms hanging out of their eye sockets, while others looked more like something out of uh, Troll 2, which is actually another Italian horror movie. It was a uh, shot in America, but it was from an Italian director. This is actually a pretty gory film with uh, buckets of blood and tons of intestine munching zombies. It all looks real and pretty effective too because it, it probably is real intestines they're munching on. Those poor zombie actors eating actual, well they're probably not eating it, but chewing on intestines. That's pretty gross. And uh, one of my favorite scenes involves a scythe and a window. But don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Uh, the film's pretty fast paced, which is kind of funny because it really doesn't go anywhere quickly or at all. So this movie is just non-stop zombie attacks with a prequel of nudity before the zombies hit the scene. So uh, what's the uh, Bail Ground Hub going against it? Quite a bit. There's a lot going against it. So I, uh, I put in Burial Ground, and this comes up. First off, I put in Burial Ground, not the Knights of Terror. We're not off to a good start here. So there, there is no real story here. The, uh, the story is Zombies Attack, which is pretty similar to um, The Night of the Living Dead, but there's a big difference. I'm going to tell you what it is. This is the difference. So Night of the Living Dead had characters with the, like personalities, internal struggles and conflict within the group. And um, on a side note, zombies are attacking them. Burial Ground has none of that. And uh, that brings me to my second point about Burial Ground is the, the characters. They're, they're, they're very bland and one dimensional. The characters in Burial Ground are completely forgettable, with one exception, which I'll get to later. I, I've watched this movie a few times now, and I don't remember any of the characters' names, except one, which is an exception, which I'm going to talk about later. It's not an inception, it's an exception. My, my I, I misspoke, my apologies. And you know, it, it really doesn't matter at all anyway. Because all the characters are there pretty much just to die. Like uh, the big boob slutty girl from every slasher film you've ever seen. She's going to die. Just like all these characters. They're, they're there to die. I'm no feminist, but even I'm offended by the depiction of women in this movie. So the, the women in this movie, they are only here to get naked and show their boobs in the first half before the zombies get here. That is their major contribution to this movie. When the zombies appear, the men take control and the women just kind of scream. Then they, they, if the zombie shows up, they kind of lose the ability to walk and just kind of roll on the ground. And that's the, and that's, that's the women. So the, the Burt Reynolds looking character set the tone for the best for what you could expect from the women in this movie when he uh, said these lines. You look just like a little whore, but I like that look on you. So the, the women in this movie, they're, they're pretty worthless. <laughs> and uh, one uh, even steps in a bear trap. Oh, 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 caught in a trap. Hold on, just hold on. How do you step in a bear trap in Rome? Uh, do they even have bears in room? Huh. There's there there are there are bears in Rome. Who knew? Google knew. Also, this is not a sponsored video for Google, although I would. 
I would sponsor Google. So on the uh, technical side of things, Focus must have been in short supply during the filming of this movie because tons of this movie is out of focus. You know, it's not too distracting because that's pretty typical for kind of movies like this, but I have to say it really does add up pretty quickly. This movie, it's out of focus a lot. Many scenes are out of focus. So as I already said, you know, the zombies look pretty good. They're... There was an attempt to make a more frightening, kind of scary zombie. But, some zombies look far better than others. The quality control was not very strong on this film in regards to the looks of the zombies. Some zombies look really good, and others look like something from Troll 2. That's not a compliment. Although, I do like that movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's pretty funny. It's pretty good. Um, this may be a little nitpick, but uh, I've not seen a lot of zombie movies where the zombies actually choke people with their bare hands, uh, walk around with pitchforks and like farming tools, like uh, like the mob from Frankenstein. One zombie uh, starts climbing the mansion. And another zombie throws knives at some people with like really with precision <laughs> he's he throws he throws knives like a boss he's really good so there's a couple of continuity errors in this movie as you can imagine i think the most uh most obvious one is there's this character who gets their arm ripped off by a zombie then this character reappears later, and their arm is back fully intact. It's, it's pretty humorous. <laughs> That's a pretty big oversight, don't you think? Oh, you're here. We'll never leave each other again. Oh. All right, so if you've seen this movie before, I'm going to address the, uh, the elephant in the room, Michael. The only reason I think anyone may know about this movie is because of Michael. Michael is this movie's claim to fame and the only memorable character in this movie. So the, the actor credited as Peter Bark, who was 25 at the time of filming, plays the role of Michael, this uh, young boy, possibly a preteen. Um, it's not really established how old Michael is supposed to be. I would imagine 13 or something would be my best guess, but I don't know. He just looks completely unnatural for this role and adds this whole layer of creepy to the character of Michael, just by the way he looks. So to make the character even more bizarre and creepy, uh, Michael has these strong sexual urges towards his mother, which he uh, acts on several times throughout the film. Uh, just because of the oddity that is Michael, I would recommend this movie to any kind of true horror fan. Especially if you like So Bad It's Good Horror, like Troll 2, for example. Which, as I already said, is also an Italian movie, but it was uh, filmed here in America by an Italian director. Troll 2. Look it up. Google it. Oh, again, not sponsored video. But Google it. If I had to give Burial Ground a grade, it's pretty tough. A uh, grade like one out of five. I'm gonna give it a negative three out of five. That may be too kind, but negative three out of five. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand firm to that. So uh, thanks for watching. I if you like what you saw and you were entertained, you know please take a moment to. Leave a comment and subscribe if you feel moved to do so. So those things just let me know people are actually watching the videos and it kind of helps give me a little motivation to continue and to do more. It's fun for me, but you know, it's just, I just like it for me <laughs> fun for someone else too. That would be nice anyway. And um, if you have any uh, constructive criticisms how I can improve my content, just uh, leave a Leave a comment below. Again, thanks for watching.